my first ever academic achievement was really becoming a French chef. Uh, I, I seemed to be quite good at it. And my first jobs for the first 10 years of my working life was working in hotels in England. And then I came out to Australia and worked in a couple of restaurants. I ended up working at the Opera House. And then I worked on P&O cruises on cruise ships and went around the world for two years, went to about 40 countries, which got me just completely obsessed with uh, travel. And that ended up how I became interested in photography. So when I went back to my hometown Sheffield uh, in a break, um, I had this art student friend who did black and white photography and he taught me basic black and white printing, processing and printing with the idea that I could get my travel photos of people because it was always people. Uh, and I just loved the blow up, a black and white was just absolutely, I was obsessed with getting good at that and I did get good at that, mainly through trial and error. And then when I came back out to Australia, again, working as a chef, I was working at the Gazebo Hotel in King's Cross. I used to finish work about 10, 11 at night. I was a bit of a night owl. I was obsessed with music, loved rock and roll. And I happened upon Chrissy Amphlett in the Piccadilly Hotel in King's Cross. And in those days, this is before they were famous, they played every Monday night for about six months. About the third or fourth Monday night, apart from the fact you've got Chrissy Amplett in front of you, I sort of went, God, that must be bloody difficult to photograph with the lights all coming behind the uh, subject, not to mention the fact that Chrissy wouldn't stand still for five seconds. The next Monday, I took my camera along and got very little results. It was quite demoralizing because it was difficult. And after about five months, I'd got to a degree of capability. I wouldn't say I was great. And that's when Vince Lovegrove, who manages the Divinals, who'd see me at the front every night, every Monday night for four months, said, could I have a look at them? I was thinking, and I remember nearly not showing him, thinking, I don't need the manager to see. I could get into trouble, the crap, the whole bit. But I made him a proof sheet, and I remember thinking, that's the end of it. And he rang me and said, can you blow them up? You know, we'll pay for a print. And next thing I know, oh my God, it's a poster. And he offered me $20, which I'm more than, more than happy to take. And so started a life as a rock and roll photographer.